You know, one of the things that we've noticed is there's just been this huge emphasis on hybrid work with companies getting together once a quarter, once every, you know, twice a year, once a year. And so they bring everyone together. But people, what they're thinking about is like, well, if we bring to the United States, it can be very expensive. However, what we're seeing is a lot of people are going down to Latin America because a lot of their team members are down there and it ends up being a more affordable option with the ability to do a whole lot more because the dollar goes so much farther in a lot of places to the south of the United States. Oh my God, please don't do it with Zoom. <laughs> At the start of a big initiative, I think what people don't realize is that there's a bit of a attention tax or an engagement tax when you're doing collaboration only with Zoom. I can't tell you how many times we've had big Kanban boards and design documents, and then I take an eight hour flight with no jet lag, by the way, wake up, start to have a conversation with the team in person, and all of that goes away. The person who's quiet suddenly starts to chip in. When I see somebody's a little down or a little bit off, I can get them a cup of coffee. And now all of a sudden, the bandwidth of the collaboration and the planning is 10 times higher. And I think it's worth it. An eight hour trip for an eight week project or an eight month project, it's a no brainer. It gets that project off on the right foot.